and we're live. About the uh, the survival thing, if you're interested in guns, because you kind of insinuated that, Kyle is also the guy to talk to about guns, because you know you you can have all your training on making fires and whittling or whatever they tr teach you how to do there, but if you don't have a gun, you're just as whatever all Bill Burr, I think says survival. you're gathering food for the strongest like, guy on the block. I appreciate the like learning to do that stuff kind of thing, and uh, we've kind of gone through our own amateur version of that ourselves. Like, like I can make a fire with like you know like uh, a sparker and stuff like right. that. I can I I, can, I got that flint handled. and steel, but, magnesium. Sure, but when yeah. it comes down to it, like as far as water and food and all that stuff, like if you just have one of these, then you can just take that from the guy who's over there like crafting. Like 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 if there's a guy crafting. over there crafting and. <laughs> making that little fire and he's boiled right. up a gallon of clean water and in his terracotta pot he made right. that took him like two weeks to put right. together you walk along and you go hey right. yep i'll be having that yeah put two in the <laughs> pan and get them uh, pennies off boy make <laughs> you know, another pot like that's how the future goes yeah. like that's how it plays out every single time unfortunately well, but, but, I gotta tell you, I don't want I don't want a gun for like, oh, honey, I heard something downstairs. I'm gonna go play Charles Bronson. Like, I want I want a gun for, um, you know, like I said, like there's been a loss of basic services, and you just want to make sure well, that if fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, dude, you know, my father said the smartest thing, man. I go like, because we were having this conversation on a stag six weekend. And my brother goes like, what would you do? You know, if you were like, you know, if they start looting, if there's been, you know, a week without power and people are starting to loot, how would you defend your home? And my father goes, well, the first thing I would do is I'd get a sheet and spray paint and I would write gun owner and hang it in front of the house. <laughs> and I was like, that is baller, man. Like if you don't even have a gun, if people are walking down the street and they see that, they're like, fuck it, I'll go to the next house. You know what I mean? <laughs> see, that's an interesting tactic in LA. Like if someone did that here in Missouri, you'd just be like, yeah, of course, asshole. You ruined your garage door. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> I'm sure in Georgia it's the same. They'd be like, yeah. "He's lying. He's trying to fake us out." That's, that's, exactly what I, that's exactly where my mind went. I'm like, "What's he, what's he telling everybody about it for?" It kind of sounds like the sort of thing someone without a gun would say to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of sounds like the sort of thing a guy wearing a bow tie would write. <laughs> a damn Democrat in there pretending like he's got a gun. that's what we got here, boys. I bet he's got a bunch of water. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Loss of basic services, and now they're coming for the Second Amendment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I, I, I would I like, like to. I think I, I like. I guess I got to figure out how to get a gun, like with the get the license and what you got to do, right? Yeah, and I wouldn't want to have it in the home unless my wife knew how to handle it. Like, I don't want. I would want her to know her way around it. That'd be a fun thing to do. You could get or whatever kind of gun you wanted—a shotgun, maybe. And then just go to a range or go out, go skeet shooting, both of you. It's fun. It's something that, like, even people who are like, oh, I'm uncomfortable around guns or whatever. Like, once you take them out there and you have them shown that it's safe and you, like, the, the really the riskiest part are the people who are, like, say they're afraid of guns. Sometimes when you get them out there to try and downplay the severity of guns, they'll be a little more loopy doopy with it and you have to kind of be like hey you're the one who's afraid of these and there's a fucking reason to be so keep it pointed that way and <laughs> right. you know we're gonna learn how to do this if you can kind of instill that respect of like this is not joke around time then people really enjoy it like guns are awesome isn't it just like a awesome. news story about one of like an olympic uh uh like sharpshooter accidentally killed himself cleaning his gun I, 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 I thought we were going to talk about the Blade Runner case and that, you know, the the, the Paralympic athlete who, who shot yeah. his girlfriend mm. through the bathroom. Oscar door. Pistorius, Oscar right? Pistorius. Yes, the Blade Runner. What a cool name. <laughs> I, this whole time, cool I didn't name. know that well, he shot his girlfriend. He I was like, hey, he's I, single now, if you're interested. You know what they call him in prison? Wheels. <laughs> <laughs> he had to very quickly transition from Olympian to wise old inmate. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
a, like a three like week span of I'm real quick on my my super fast blades, and then they go, yeah, you can't have these in there because some gang's gonna steal them and then kill you with them. So yeah. here, here's your chair. Like, here's your very uncomfortable two piece wheelchair because we can't have comfortable pieces there because otherwise the other people in prison will rip off the pieces and murder one another. Maybe he could like make his own blades out of uh, tooth uh, toothbrushes or something. You know what I mean? He got to get. He has to DIY it, you know. <laughs> He's got a Shawshank Redemption, you know. Andy Dufresne crawls <laughs> through 500 yards of shit smelling filth I can't even imagine. <laughs> That'd be a lot harder with blade feet. This whole time, I didn't know that that guy shot his girlfriend. I was always wondering how he managed to do that in the state he was, because I assumed that he doesn't sleep with the blades on. Uh, he's and this in, is in the uh, South Africa, I believe. Yeah, but I was wondering how, not not how he got a gun, how he how he overpowered. I didn't know that he shot her. I thought that he like beat her to death or did whatever oh, no, he no. did. All right, so so I, I'm probably gonna butcher this a bit, but but he, he claims that in the night he hears a noise. Here's what he claims he thought her believed at the time was an intruder. He arms himself and then he fires through the bathroom door at what he Nine believes. Nine right? Yeah, like he like sure. dumps the mag into his bathroom door and and he kills his girlfriend who's on the other side of it. And I think he had his legs on. I think that like because I, I, I it was a big news story. I think what the the sequence of events was he hears the noise, puts his blades on arms himself and then goes and shoots through with this noise in the middle of the night. And my first thought is like, if I wake up out of bed and there's a noise, I'm going to look to where my, you know, he claims his girlfriend is there in the house with him. Like she, I'm going to be like, Hey, Hey, wake up, get your gun. I'm going to like, you know, I'm going to like, let her know like, Hey, lock the door behind me. I'll knock twice. If it's me, anything else, it's not, you know, I'm going to say something to her. So if when I wake up, hear this noise and she's not there, Oh, it's her. But that, that wasn't his first inkling. His but do you, first inkling. you know what else probably like pushed the cops against his side when they showed up? Is that if you've ever seen people walk in those blade legs, they have kind of a natural upbeat like, oh, yeah, I'm looking good. I'm looking happy. I'm feeling confident. I'm enjoying what's going on. He walked out there like, hey, guys, girlfriend's dead. What can I say? And even if he was crying, they're like, look at this smug chipper fuck. He just killed yes. his girlfriend. He's bouncing out here like everything's fine. Old robo legs. Nothing to worry about. No, and then, you know, yeah, of course you get resentful if you see a guy bouncing out. I okay. wonder if he was like, you know, because it was like, they don't know if he was intentional or not. I wonder if he was like, hey, I got her. I mean, yeah. I got her. Yeah, just, she's passed. Yeah, yeah, that's outrageous. Uh, like like anyone who's like a gun owner and like, you know, is yeah, familiar great. with the thoughts that go through your head when you consider the scenarios of home defense and how they would all play out. Like these are thoughts that gun owners have. And like you usually have like a an idea of how this thing should and would play out, so that you'll maximize your chances of success and not hurting anyone, um, you know, in in defense of your own home and family. And maybe members. part of that would be to begin with, honey. You yeah, know what I mean? like you find the people you care about first. Like like it's not about let's let's find him. It's about let's protect everyone. Let's protect the people first, and then the belonging second. And like. You know, that's the order of, event, of events that actually would happen in that scenario. So him just going and blasting through a bathroom door without first finding his girlfriend is outrageous, especially as an Olympic athlete. Legs or no legs, he had his blades on. <laughs> I, got, uh, yeah. I got two small kids, so if I, were to, if I were to own a gun, I would want one of those, like, don't they have gun cases where you need to use your handprint or your fingerprint to yeah, open it up? Yeah, there's lots of different ways to make guns safe, and it depends on the age of the person you're trying to keep from, from you know, utilizing the weapon. If you're trying to keep a teenager from getting a gun, obviously, you know, you got to go to, like, locking it up, you know, because there's no other way to stop them. I don't trust anything with a fingerprint, to be honest. Like, what if you need that gun and your hands are covered in blood? Or no. even if you or that sweat. gun and like you just like you're you're already cut and wounded from glass or God knows what. If you're going for a gun, it's this, not an ideal scenario. I'm a little worried like, about you, Kyle. Yeah. You see, you're creating some scenarios that are you very see, that, the gun is for these scenarios what and does therefore your you know, doctor have to say about <laughs> all this stuff. So yeah, I don't like the fingerprint thing. I want to be able to get my gun and like get to it. I don't. I don't have any children in my house. So, so what I would you do? Would you? What, what do you think is better? A lock? Just a a lock, and then you keep the key hidden? Um, no. I, I would put it either out of reach. If if they're little children, you can put it out of reach, right? And and have it locked away. But there are um there are safes that are meant to to get your gun quickly, and it's a quick pin pad that you can have like on your nightstand. It'd be like beep boop boop boop, gun. And like as soon as you put the, the pad in, it's like, here's your gun. And you've yeah. got your gun. 
Yeah, but you, you can just leave it loaded like, in there, so you're not fiddle fucking around at the that, last second. Like, like that's the other thing, and and I know that like the first mindset of like because we all hear so much gun control stuff and so much, you know, so much gun control stuff is like, oh god, yeah. you never leave a gun loaded, and and I mean this gun isn't loaded, but I mean, th think about the steps that you've got to go to make a gun loaded. And remember, we're in that nightmare scenario again where they're coming to get us, whoever they are in this scenario. You know, you've got to put the magazine in and then you've got to rack the gun. You've got to hope that you did it all well and the gun's going to work. But if you didn't, what if you fumbled through that process and you dropped something? Now you're, oh shit, oh, and a bullet fell out. And I mean, there was a malfunction right there. A bullet fell out of the magazine. I just lost one. That might confuse me. And my, my hands are shaking. It's, it's better just to have the thing loaded so you just flick the safety right there and you're good to go. Now, do you have one in the chamber? Or are we getting ready to watch you die? <laughs> he just took it out. He did oh, have he one in the chamber. He plays with loaded guns every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's... They're no fun if they're not loaded. He's yeah. literally a certified expert. <laughs> I... Yeah. Just agree. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> I'm like, I got paperwork. <laughs> yeah, he just mailed away for it. <laughs> yeah, I, I threw I threw Kyle a ball that I thought he could receive, and then you were like, "Yeah, actually, no, I cannot say that." Um, <laughs> like, yeah, I love that you're like he's a certified expert, and I'm like my home defense is related to like I could make some scathing comments. I <laughs> I could hurt your feelings. I could make jokes at your expense that will really make you question yourself after you kill us. <laughs> you're <laughs> making last time look like a real awesome a step part. Further, sir. <laughs> He'll be I'm using cool. all these stolen goods to pay for therapy. That'll teach him. <laughs> I don't even yeah. want that plasma TV. Is your apartment in 2007, <laughs> idiot? You know. <laughs> Can't yeah, but, um, but but uh, I don't know. Um, I guess you're in California, right? Yeah. 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 So so it may be, you know, the gun laws there are a little bit different. And I'm certainly not an expert on the California gun laws, the uh, the Republic of California. Um, in Georgia, they just give you one at the border, right? When you, yeah, when you cross mm -hmm. the border. And at birth, like, like you, get a, you, get a, you get a little baby gun right up and start a little Derringer. Little Derringer yes. into your diaper. <laughs> Um, yeah. it, it's, it's quite easy. You know, you go through the same federal background check every time you purchase one, unless you have a concealed carry permit, which I have. But right. I was thinking maybe because of, of your celebrity status, it might make things easier for you to not only acquire a weapon, but acquire a concealed carry permit. Because I know like, like guys like Anthony Cumia, like, like yeah. he has one for New York. Imagine right. that New York city, Anthony Cumia is walking around strapped. Right. So when he had that spat a while back where he got in a lot of trouble on Twitter for making some racist remarks after that, that lady beat him up and then he got all mad. You had to keep in mind the whole time that he was taking that beating from that lady with a gun on his hip. And at least he's a cool headed individual that, enough that he didn't, you know, like, hey, get back away from me. You know, or do <laughs> like, brandishing it around yeah. like a maniac. Well, put it this way. He would. Yeah, it would have been a little more than getting fired from Sirius XM. If he had pulled the weapon, you know, his yes. ratings have went up. They, they, they may have had to keep him if he'd done that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me...